was it's magical. I I, I love where I'm from. I I love growing up there. Um, it was it was just the best uh, foundation for everything I wanted to do in life. In high school, I was a golden girl. So Bridget and I met in 1988. Bridget stood out as just really um, kind of the caring um, big sister type. I was into karate. And so, you know, that was kind of my life. Every night, martial arts, karate, you know, we went to the JoJo, my brother and me, we trained so hard. So it was just like school and then karate. My karate instructor said, Bridget, if you want to go into a kickboxing fight, you got to go pro off the bat for your pro debut. And I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. Put me in that ring, man. I'm ready. I won five different world titles in three different weight divisions and fought all over the world. And then I said, I want to box. And I started getting on shows and I started getting, you know, getting a record and really working on that and building it. And then I um, signed with Don King. But I've had the opportunity to be in the company of greatness. And I went and I fought on the Evander Holyfield Lennox Lewis one at Madison Square Garden in New York City. It was one of the highlights of my entire career. I won the world title and I defended my world title. Cut to a little bit later, I was in a way over my head in a world title situation where I was no, I was, I just wasn't ready for all that. But you know what, when you're a fighter, you want to fight and you want to just go for it. Well, I got beat. Loss is what you do with it. It could either be, you know, it can, it, it, it can make or break you and you want to use it for motivation. That loss was the, the whole reason I became a stunt woman and I went out to California. She was a world champion kickboxer and a world champion boxer and that was impressive, but a stunt woman was over the top. So I'm training at the Jet Center. I'm a jet fighter, you know, working really, really, really hard. This casting director comes up to me. He went over this little scene with me. I show up, lo and behold, it's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They gave me a shot and I became, you know, one of the first females in the Power Ranger suit. Some of my highlights and like my favorite gigs have been um, Twilight. I did Star Trek Beyond, Scout's Guide to the Zombie, Apocalypse, Million Dollar Baby, Pineapple Express, The Hangover, Grimm, the TV series. That was a bunch of different creatures. I did a movie called Watchmen. That was really exciting. It's got its own following. Bad Boys for Life was my last film. I had cancer June 19 of 2019, last year. That's when I got the diagnosis. It's like taking a bullet. Every once in a while, you know, you get tested. And uh, this was a real test. You know, she's a fighter. So when this thing came along, it was uh, just, you know, it blindsided her at first. But, you know, she, uh, <laughs> she got knocked down, but she got back up, you know. Actually feeling alive again, and my energy's coming back. A lot of, um exciting endeavors that she just conquered everything she put her mind out to it's amazing her career that she's had every all the i mean she fought for don king and uh uh she was teammates with manny pacquiao I mean, she has a lot of energy um she has a, a she keeps her eye on the prize she goes after it but at the same time she's always giving back and thinking about how she can invest in other people. Just, I just believe growing up right there, um, it made me who I am. And I'm very proud. I'm very proud of this. And I love where I came from. So it's just, it's, I mean, it's beautiful. I'm in the Boxing Hall of Fame. I'm in the Martial Arts Hall, Hall of Fame. But this Hall of Fame, this one is my heart. <laughs> so it's very special.